see some of these channels that my with the, the kids watch. It's believable. Uh, they're a little bit older than that now. They watch like Dan TDM, uh, like the video people, video game people. What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> I don't know how the reception is. Oh, it looks. Oh, there's people. EJM, what's up, Steven Strong? <laughs> how you doing there, buddy? All right, so we're going to do a 50 hour, okay, Pasa, 50 hour review. Now, I just took this for a nice little spin. This is, I've got a couple of videos on this. Um, how long, oh, well, two years now or a year? Did you get it last summer or do you summer? Two, two years, this is the third year. This will be the third year of the Gravely ZTX mower. Now, there's video, man, if you want to check it out, of us actually going to Sherwood Swartz right here this guy's uh, place and we picked it up we were deciding what one we were going to get for my for my friend here he decided on the gravely and uh all in all he, he likes it now i'm going to tell you a couple things about it from just riding it compared to some other entry level type mowers um that are you know at the same price point um the one thing i can tell you this thing is slow but I, I mentioned that actually in a couple of the review videos we did when we first got this or when my friend first got it. Very slow. Uh, that's really the only downer to it. You know, I, I think value wise, I mean, geez, what, 2,900 cash? Yeah. 2,900 cash. Now, of course, I, I know how to buy these. So we went out of state so we could avoid paying tax. Uh, so that's a good three, four hundred dollars in savings right there. Matters where you live, but the deck—I tell you—the deck is built like a brick smack house. There, um, got a three-gallon tank, I believe, or maybe I think it's a two-point-eight. The tires—you got Kendra tires on here. They're a little small for a fifty-two. Now the issue with this is I think these are the same tires. Uh, there are the 18, um, 18, eight and a half by eight. So these are the same tires that are on a 42 inch. And I think on their 42 inch, and this is the size, the size tire you'll find on, you know, the Hustler Raptor 42, uh, the Toro time cutter 42. So that's the one thing, um, you know, to get a, a, a mower down to this price point, um, you obviously got to make a couple, you know, uh, alterations to the mower. One, obviously, being the tires. I mean, they're Kendra. People like them. I'm not a big fan of Kendra tires. I like the Grassmasters, but, I mean, they're a very popular, solid tire. Um, and the one other thing is the battery. All right? But they have room in there. They, they make it so when you do have to replace this, you could put a full-sized battery in. And I want to say that they've been getting a lot of crap from people and I actually know someone who wouldn't buy this mower because it is battery and I'm like all right it's, you know it's, it's not a, that big of a deal you gotta relax a little bit but um yeah we and we gotta blow this out boy yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna actually yeah, wash it we, we, we're gonna clean it up as you can see he's got like I think he's got like a bird's nest in there it's crazy you got a big bird in there all in the yeah, you don't want to leave that in there. You'll 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 push your uh, you'll push your belt right off. Then you got to redo the whole thing. It's pain in the neck. Put that if that stuff builds up. It'll push your your uh, yep, push it right off your belt. But yeah, so the battery is the other issue. But you know, like I said, they have an area here. You got it, what three inches this way? <clears throat> Excuse me, and an inch this way. Probably half an inch here. You could fit a full-size battery. Uh, you got these little shock absorbers there. Um, again, you know, you get a, a, you know, a seat with armrests here. You got an hour meter. You got. I'm not a big fan of the Smart Choke, but you know, 25 horsepower engine, man. 7,000 series. I bet you this filter is disgusting. See what this guy does? Oh my God, terrible. All right. So first thing you want. Oh. 
Yeah, this is gone. Yeah. How the hell? It only has 47 hours on it. And I mean, this thing That's is the second one. I already placed it once. Really? Oh, okay. you got something going on here, then. I have my my filters last three four hundred hours. Mice? Yeah, maybe. I don't. I don't know. This is not normal. Maybe it, maybe it was a mouse or something. And it's the second one. Yeah, it's the second one. Oh man, yeah, you got some kind of infestation. You got infestation. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> you got a nice area here for your cell phone you know you want to put your lunch in here um you know people you know you can go on youtube and you'll see people rocking with these this is exactly to the arians the arians uh what the heck is that mower called the arians icon i think it's called same thing this is red that one's orange um they give you this cool damper here this will help with the vibration here but um you know, make sure water doesn't get under here. You kind of leave water sitting here over time. You get some rust. But, um, yeah, you like it, bud, or what? Would yeah, you buy it yeah, again? Good. Yeah, I have no problems with it. It starts right up. I just tuck it out for the... Now, if I remember... For the season and crank right up. My, uh, my buddy Anthony here. We were talking about getting a mower for a couple months. And I was giving him ideas. And I remember at one point... There was a mower that was a couple hundred dollars more, remember? Now, this has the ZT2200 Hydro, so that's... I mean, I think the reason why this is so much slower than other mowers in its class is because you got a real, you got a lot of weight with this deck, um, you know, compared to the Raptor and the Time Cutter. And um, what's the other? You know, your normal... I can't think of them, but... I don't know if there was a sale, but I remember we, there was some. We could have went up. Was it the uh, SD Hustler SD? I think it was, because the Hustler SD. Yeah, the Hustler. I mean, it's like I said, they do stuff on their mowers that is really unnecessary. To certain, I mean, they got these huge twenty-inch tires in the back. These huge. I mean, you know, it's almost double the size of these front caster tires here with the SD. Um, but, you know, the reason I told him, you got an open deck here. And I said, that's so important. Now, obviously, we could have cut it off. We could have cut this bottom area off on the SD. Now, that was a year ago. Now, you know, the SD, mm -hmm. fully open now. Oh, yeah. Yep. They opened the deck. Uh, they did a couple other things. Well, with the regular Raptor now, you got a foot-operated deck lift. You got an open deck. I tell you, that, that entry-level Hustler now is amazing. I mean, I don't think you're going to beat that for the money. Entry-level. You know, um, but you know, solid mower. So yeah, he's got 47.1. He doesn't, you know, what happened, but he, and he has a big property here. So and it takes him what an hour to do this with this, yeah, because it's, it's slow now, maybe a little bit quicker. Now, if he had a, a ZT2800 Hydro, we'd be able to go probably a mile, probably two miles. This thing is probably like five five and a half tops they might say it goes six or six and a half but i don't think so but um yeah you figure you know he cuts it 25 times a year so he cut it 25 times last year that's 25 hours you know people don't understand how many you know when someone has like a thousand hours on their mower and it's like oh man yeah, yeah that's pretty good you guys don't realize how many hours that actually is that's, you know, for a DIY person, you know, like I said, takes them an hour. So he cut it 25 times. Now he got this towards the end of 2017, right? Like August or September. But, you know, he probably did it another 15 times in 2017. So, I mean, he's using it every week for an hour, but, and it's only got 47 hours. So, you know. Yeah, I like I got it August. And the, the Arians also has the little dial. Actually, I think Cub Cadet went to them now, too. You see the new Cub Cadets? Oh, man. They went, they totally redesigned it. Nice-looking mower. Nice-looking nice, nice looking mower. But this is a Gravely made in the USA, and um, it cuts nice, right? Yeah, it cuts good. It, uh, no complaints off the start. No complaints. Probably ready for a... Yeah, we're gonna give it yeah, a bath on the, the, on blades. the blades. But um, yeah, wash it down. Oil change, new filter, air filter. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, Highland, New York. Somebody knows. Yeah, this guy Schwartz actually con. I we, we I did a couple videos on it, and he contacted this guy. It's like, oh man, I'm getting so many calls, and uh, they said that they saw a Supreme Service. You know, he didn't even know I was filming in there when I did that video. So he remembers him because he had all his information from buying this. And he ended up contacting me, you know, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And he sent me all types of stuff. He sent me like um, trimmer line. He sent me a hat and a shirt. But he had no idea that, you know, this was even going to be on YouTube. But I guess he was making a lot of business from that video. I don't know. But here he is again, Sherwood Swartz. 94, your 94 GT Coupe is in the house. And he's got, I mean, he's like, uh, I, I could see him starting a little side business. He really seems to be getting into the outdoor power equipment stuff. But, yeah. And the one thing, too, with this, and if you saw, actually, I have a video on this channel from him of doing the oil change. It's, you really, it's really tough with this mower. Now, I think, again, they kind of changed it. I don't know if this comes up now, but you're very limited with space. Uh, the, the filter, I mean, it's... I mean, it's really what is this all oil back here or is how why would mud be like back there like what would it oil. oh man you must have a leak or something <laughs> i don't mind look at this thing for 47 hours this thing looks <laughs> holy crap <clears throat> yeah that looks like it's some type of that blows right off yeah i don't know what we got going on back there but yeah you got limited room here to get into that oil uh, filter there. You know, obviously you can do it. It's, it's just, you know, it's a pain. That's why, you know, the Skag uh, Liberty Z, man. Oh, my God. Everything's right there. Boom, boom, boom. Fuel filters there. Oil filter there. That's no good. But, um, yeah, besides that, you know, 47 hours. He'll, He'll get a thousand. You know, he'll have this probably for the rest of his life. If he, I don't know, the way it looks now, I don't know. <laughs> He's, <laughs> he got freaking rats in the in the in the oil. He's got animals living in here. I don't know what's going on. There's some type of leak. But um, you got something. But yeah, you know, 25 horsepower engine, and uh, like I said, it cuts pretty good. Um, you got three blades on this, and also with the 42. If you're looking at a smaller, and that's another really good pro of this mower, a lot of 42-inch um, mowers only have two blades, all right? Now, the Arian's 42, and this is, I think, this and the Dixie Chopper is the only 42-inch that have um, three blades. So, you're pretty limited if you want three blades on a 42-inch. A lot of them have two. Um, so, and you'd rather have three blades than two, definitely, but nice wide open, uh, discharge area on the deck. Yeah. I mean, um, like I said, I thought now, you know, with the new Hustler Raptor and the new Cub Cadet, even the Toros kind of have, um, upgraded their mowers. So, I mean, this used to be blow, no doubt the best mower under three grand. Now it's a little bit more competitive. You know, it's definitely up there, but you definitely have to do your research. And I'm going to start looking into it again. Um, but, yeah, that's it. So we're going to clean her up. Maybe we'll we'll film it. Go back on live with a clean. Yep, we're going to come back on it. Yeah, maybe we'll clean it up and go back live or I'll just film it or something. But yeah, he's got all uh, dog feces all over the back <laughs> tires. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of dog feces and excrement uh, from the mice underneath there too. And he keeps this in a shed, right? Yeah. Yeah, he keeps it in a shed. But you know, when he's done after an hour, because I know this guy, he just wants to get done quick. He don't care. He probably throws it right back in the shed, just with dog feces and excrement all over it. But We'll we'll clean it up. Too cold last year to wash it. Yeah, he didn't want to. Yeah, and you do your leaf cleanups with this too, right? Well, I don't really have too many leaves. You don't have here. too many leaves. Yeah, see, that's why you don't. And that's the reason why he doesn't have a lot of hours either, because that's where you just rack up hours 
on your mowers like crazy because you're going over it two, three times. And, you know, every three days, the leaves, you got rid of them, they're, they're gone. Three days later, they're right back. And you're spending two hours going, you know. So that's how you really rake up. And we're going to do some, some chainsaw stuff here, too. What, what chainsaw are you working with there? We're going to get him with some of the... Um, He's got the 18-inch bar. Oh, you do got the 250. How long have you had this? Five years, probably when I, since I moved in. It should have a date on it. Yeah, I think they were. Did they still make the 250 or is it two, the uh, 280 now? You probably, yeah, you don't know. But um, okay. yeah, I think they. I don't know if they make the 250 anymore, guys. To be honest with you, they might. But I know the 280 is a um 18 inch bar that's pretty popular and the one thing i think with the 280 is you have that you know that mm -hmm. dial type of thing not where you have to go in with you know mm -hmm. instagram people oh, how you doing but yeah so you gotta tighten this chain up huh yeah that's not too bad <laughs> not too bad it's coming off the, the thing okay. yeah. 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 All right, all right. So yeah, we're gonna clean her up, and it looks like small from here, doesn't it? It looks, you know, why the tires are so small in the back, but you're on a flat surface, so it's not really gonna, you know. Obviously, if he has a flat area here, so it's not a big deal. But these are very. So you got the small tires. That's a kind of a con. You got the battery, the small battery, and. Um, you know, kind of the work area to kind of do maintenance on it. Besides that, and it's slow. One of the slowest. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was at half throttle when I was, you know, riding a sucker. But, um, you know, the deck is the best thing about this mower. The deck, you know, you got the foot-assisted deck lift, which, I, you know, again, this was probably one of the only mowers under that price point that you can get that with. Now, like I said, the Raptor has it. I think it's available on the Toro. Um, and you get an hour meter. You know what I mean? You didn't get that with the Raptor. So, a lot of great features. Like I said, the the, uh, the dial, height adjustment. But, yeah. Um, you know, a rugged mower made in the USA. Probably with Chinese components. But, that's about it, man. 50 hour... He, he likes it. No issues with it, right? You should take these belt covers off. That's another reason why you got so much. Dis you don't need them. Get them out of there. Take them off. Put them in there. Because then it's so easy to just to blow it out. You know? Yeah. So. All right, people. Everybody, thank you for coming. I hope the quality of the video was going up here in the freaking woods. I'm up here in the mountains. People don't think New Jersey has areas like this. Look at this. You got the Appalachian Mountains over there. I got them in my yard, too. In my yard, you can see them, too. But I'm way down compared to this guy. But, yeah. No problem, 94. Each AM, thank you. Jason Reynolds. Steven DiMilo. What's up, buddy? Filming in the yard. Yep, well, I wouldn't say this is grass here. But it'll be starting. He keeps his grass pretty nice. 82 Camino. Yeah, so Patreon guys, I know there's a lot of them on here. We're going to do it tonight. I haven't heard from these two guys. So we're going to put the two new ones in those spots, and I guess we'll worry about it. I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't know to keep them in it. I, I, it's, it's, that's the problem. Like, I don't know. We'll talk tonight, and we'll kind of decide on the, when we do the video what we're going to do. But all right, so that's it, people.